Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode two of season four of Young Justice. The premiere episode saw Magan and Connor going to Mars to get the blessing of her parents and to participate in their traditions of matrimony as they have been engaged as of season three. So they're going up there to get the tr that tradition out of the way. Um, when they arrive, tensions are apparently extremely high on Mars as a, the king had been recently murdered. And of course, the White Martians and the Green Martians are blaming one another for it. We see some members are rising up as well as like Earth uh, culture through these transmissions that from the open communication from Earth and Mars is starting to get in. So people are getting newscasts, TV shows and stuff like that is starting to infect their youth and these earthen ideas are challenging their customs and that's upsetting people even further. So we got these racial tensions. We got these accusations of murder on top of this threat to their culture that they feel. So it's a lot of stuff just culminating together and on top of what appears to be the light infiltrating their systems as well in an attempt to disrupt this union between earth and Mars as well as everything else going on, trying to shut out their alliance, trying to weaken their system, trying to allow the light and apocalypse to kind of come through and weaken this power that could be a threat to them. And in, in such, they are testing their Zeta tube to earth and John Jones, who was going to be testing it, it erupts just as he enters it. And that's where the episode kind of came to a close was, uh, after, his, his whereabouts, condition, status being unknown. So guys, that's where we left off. If you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, make sure you can check that out over on Patreon. You can check that out over on Patreon or if you become a member here on the channel, it gets you access to that as well. It's just one of the ways you can support the channel, help us get an editor and all that jazz so we can pick up more shows or not have to worry about picking and choosing which ones we're keeping. Um, another way you can do that is just simply by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos and giving them that engagement. And if you're watching this, you're not subscribed. I really hope you subscribe, but guys, let's go ahead and dive into this episode. Here we go. This one's titled needful. Needful. Gar Garfield, are you all right? What happened? Zeta tube, it exploded. But my brother, he was in the tube. He may have zated away before the explosion. You mean the explosion caused by the terrorist Mahalavak? Look, I'm not my brother's biggest fan right now, but Macomb did not do this. But Martian Manhunter made it to the Watchtower, right? Emery? Right? Emery! I don't know! The explosion blew out the connection to the Mars Earth communication satellite. Mm. Some external source added thermal energy to the power core during the Zeta transmission. This was clearly sabotage. An Arashen defending another Arashen. What a surprise. Seems you've conveniently forgotten how he snuck in here by blocking his presence. Rested for being Arashen. Talk about your surprises. I have to go with him. All three of us will go. I told you no more all good would come of that Zeta tube. You mean the Zeta tube you wanted stopped? <laughs> what do you imply, brother? Is it true? Rumors are flying. Is Ja'on Ja'on's really dead? We do not know. And the infamous Ma'ala Fa'ak has been arrested. There is evidence against him? He's an Arshan activist and agitator. He is a terrorist! And you know this based on what? Just trust me, my boy. You'll understand when you are older. Mm. I hope the Earthlings are not reacting negatively to this turn of events. Why worry about all Earthers at a time like this? Burn marks. Two small points of impact on the power core's thermal panel. There. Bypass. Should be able to patch a signal through the Mars Earth communication satellite to the watchtower. When? Now? Soon. Gar, chill. Well, I mean, I get it, but still. Uh, it's no good. The Zeta tube and all communications to Mars are out. Problems on their end, not ours. Then it is clear. Oh, thank God. Something has gone wrong. Cyborg, boom to us there. Can't. I've never been to Mars, so without a comm signal to pinpoint a safe location, I could end up boom tubing us into the middle of a mountain. Steel, we need the javelin back at the watchtower ASAP. Understood. Said it would turn course. Mars to watchtower. Oh, Uncle John, you're all right. The Zeta 
tube was sabotaged. It exploded, but no one was hurt. Dude, That's Starfire, isn't it? Her voice. Locking in on their signal. From the Teen Titans show. Oh. And now the satellite's gone. your ETA. You're on the other side of the Milky Way. Even at post light speeds, it'll still take us a couple of days. For now, McGann, Connor, and Garfield are on their own. Someone's definitely trying to cut Mars off from Earth and the Justice League. And who would do that? Prince Jam. Those explosions. They couldn't have been his play, could they? No. But he's up to something. Nothing's changed. We watch. We wait. We stay ready. What were you thinking, Muhammad? I need a moment alone with my brother. Oh, am I your brother again? I thought the little green beastie was your brother now. Our parents failed to teach tolerance and acceptance even in their own home. How many of our Garoon siblings plan to attend your wedding? Face it, our parents' ways don't work, and your ways don't work either, Miss if they did, I wouldn't be sitting here innocent. Innocent of this? But you're no innocent. I, I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Of course you don't know me. You abandoned me, ran away to Earth. But why didn't you take me with you? I was a child, and you were my rock. You should have protected me! I was a child, too. It's an honor to meet you, Your Majesty. Please, I don't need any Your Majesties, especially from a famous Earthling. He's half Kryptonian. My apologies. The point is, I need an answer to who might want to cut Ma'ars off from Earth and your League of Justice. Well, the League was setting up the Zeta Tube so that our sister planets could help with each other's problems. Most of Mars's current problems stem from the murder of my father. The King was a big proponent of both your Zeta Tube and interplanetary cooperation. Could these mysteries be related? Absolutely! Uh, maybe. We were planning to reopen the investigation with help from the famous Martian Manhunter. Miss Martian Beast Boy and I have trained with him extensively. And not just him! Batman, Nightwing, Batgirl, Robin... Calm down. Uh, it might help if we had more intel on your father's case. Mm, of course. Jesus. Take the knowledge in your brain. What did you do? I'm sorry. I simply granted your request. We'll ask permission next time. Gar, what are you doing? Stand down. Fine. Whatever. What the fuck, Gar? Sorry. Thank you for your trust. In exchange, I expect to be kept informed. You didn't know about this satellite. You don't know what I know. Not all of it. Not yet. You've been working on your skills. But that doesn't mean you're stronger than I am. So what are you up to, little brother? Spill, Macom, or I'll take what I need the hard way. You've been watching too many of Uncle John's Earth Cop shows. <laughs> your mind's too open for me to fall for this act. We don't do the hard way anymore. <sighs> Let me put this in terms a television fan can understand. You got nothing on me. Not on this world. I get that he was worried about Ja'an, but even after he knew Manhunter was safe. I know. I, I think he's stressed about being away from the outsiders for this long. Hey! <laughs> Here, hold this. Sure. I'm gonna go Happy fuck to him up. Service. See? He just needed a little distraction. Connor, Garfield, Mars, or Um and I still need time to build the altar. Right, son? Um, right. <laughs> and Magan, Emery, and I must construct the canopy. Oh, joy. With all thy power. Who's gonna kill her? <laughs> okay, never mind. And that's two Game of Thrones. I don't know. I was expecting her to get like impaled through the back before she finished the, the, the chant or whatever that was, whatever you'd call that. The prince had no authority to bring Earthers in to investigate the fate of the king. As we need to prove beyond a doubt that an Arshen killed Satunjax. What I object to is involving Earthers. 
including one who is marrying an Aashen already contaminated with Earther ideal. My queen, I most humbly request that you set the boy straight. The boy is standing right here. Earthlings, judging by their television, seem to have a far greater expertise. I see no harm in offering them a chance to bring my family and our people peace. Well, that set me straight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boomer. We're getting awfully close. I put up a psychic screen. They can't see us. Wait, is that Light or Legion? <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Is that it? Uh, uh, Shen's, Groom's, Bladen's. Nothing but a single genetic marker separates the Martian races. You are all one species. I find your petty racism very entertaining. This gene bomb will disperse a virus that will kill off all blood ends and groons. Whether it will affect a, a Shen of mixed parentage is anybody's guess. I truly don't care. All that matters is that in two days' time, every Ma'al, Garoon, and Bladen or Ma'ars will be dead. I know you're on Mars now. And I don't know if you'll get this message before you return. I guess I've been missing you for a while. Since before you left. I wish my father were alive to handle this. I wish he were alive to give me a hug. I wish you were here to give me a hug. As me would have a Garfield. Hmm. Damn. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I'm taking back what I said. Like, I, I don't know why... I blanked on the fact my brain. Well, I mean, just with the way the show has been up until this point, like my, 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 my suspicions immediately as, like read the L on the ring as the light, but that's not the second time I saw it. I was like, wait a second. That looks like a Legion ring. So are they with the Legion of superheroes? Cause they said that Magan would recognize her mind touch and so I don't know. I think that, I think they're supposed to be Legion of Superheroes, like the time traveling superheroes. So I'm wondering why the hell they're there. Gosh, man, this is like a Game of Thrones episode. Like all the people like uh, playing around with all these different political agendas, kind of coming to a clash. I like the allegories of racism that they're tackling with this. I mean, it's been a large proponent of the Martian background and lore for a long time the white Martians the green Martians and their tensions in between and the intermixing that has come in between during their peace, which, you know, again, we see with a lot with Miss Martian and how she's been handled a lot too, as uh, being accepted as being a white. So it is a uh, seeing that come out and the way they fear change, the way they fear progress, the way they fear, their cultures being tainted or ruined or anything like that. It's just, it's just really interesting. And honestly, this one started to get the tension to rise for me too, because we're getting closer to the ceremony and the attacks are just escalating. And her brother has now teamed up with Apocalypse to create a 
just mass genocide of anything but the white Martians where he's kind of a mixed. He, he doesn't even care if it doesn't, if it works on him as well, because the mission is greater than himself because of the prejudice he's suffered. So it's, I don't know. It's really interesting to see what, how they're tackling this and to see where it kind of goes. They're cut off from the justice league. They're days away from steel returning their ship so they can even get out there. And I don't know if that's a faster ship than the bio ship or not, that don't still maybe take them days to a month as well to even get there and provide backup. So I don't know. It's going to be crazy because they can't boom tube there. They address that situation. Cyborg can't safely boom tube them there. Um, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how they solve this one. Gar, um, we've seemingly kind of started to touch. I, th I think we were right on, at least on, why his tensions have been high lately. Um, hopefully he'll come through. These end credits is really interesting to see. Like the last one we had like a therapy session with Violet. This one was Gar not actually reading a message, but us hearing a message that was attempted to have been sent to him before he left. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see where, where it all where it all goes. But guys, what do you think of the episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. If you want to see the full-length reaction, it's over on Patreon or if you become a member here on the channel, it gets you access to that as well. You can also join our Discord and talk about it there. Links to that and all my socials are down below. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherr, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yuri Korskov, Margaret Grace, Peel and Zim, Mary Bradley, and Jeffrey Hale. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Young Justice. Take care, everybody.